today grade 6 so listen for the sweet lesson because I am going to explain about week 7 okay let us find out Mac mathematics for chair 1 for grade 6 okay so let us find out for week 7 Seven, week seven, week seven. Okay, okay. So here we go. Week seven is all about division of whole numbers and decimal numbers. So after going through this module, kids, you are expected to divide whole numbers by decimals up to two decimals places. And vice versa, and mix decimals up to uh, two decimal places. This is based from MELT 13348. The word decimal comes from the Latin word decima, meaning tenth part. Although we are using this different, uh, using different notation, we are still considering the non negative rational numbers. Division of decimals, just like multiplication, can be done using also either the fraction method or the decimal method. So, let us try for this example number one. Divide 49 by 0 and 7 tenths. Okay. So step one, always make the divisor a whole number. Since it is one decimal place, multiply the divisor to 10. At the same time, multiply the dividend by 10. Okay. So um, step one, as you can see, so the only method from step one is to multiply 10 both from the to the divisor and also the dividend. Okay, so 0 and 7 10 multiply by 10, so that is 7. Then 49 multiply by 10, that is 490. So it, as you can see here, the divisor becomes whole number and the dividend becomes whole number also. So we need to change it first from the given problem here, 0 and 7. As you can see, the divisor here is a decimal number. So we need to change it first into a whole number before we proceed in dividing or in division of this given problem. We don't need or we, we cannot divide this given problem if the divisor is um, decimal number. So we need to change it first into a whole number. By what? Again, from step one, multiply the divisor into 10. Or another tip is we can, remove, we can move the decimal point going to the right, one place. As you can see here, the decimal point between 0 and 7. Just move it into right, going to the right, one place. So 1, then... Here, as you can see, the dividend here is whole number. So we need to add one zero. So for, from 14, 49 becomes 490 because we added one zero. Okay, from decimal zero and seven tenths makes with seven. Okay, here, the decimal point here is after number seven. Okay, so let's proceed in step two. So we can divide the numbers. Okay, from four, 490, let us use first 49 to divide 7, which is 7. So 7 times 7, that is 49. So 49 minus 49, that is 0. Then now, bring down here 0. 0 divided by 7, that is 0. 0 times 7, that is 0. Then 0 minus 0, that is 0. So final answer here is 70. Therefore, 49 divided by 0 and 7 tenths, that is 70. So now for step 3, let us check if this answer 70 is correct. So by multiplying 70 into the divisor, which is 0 and 7 tenths. So let us try to multiply this. 70 divided by 0 and 7 7 times 0, that is 0. 7 times 7, that is 49. 
So, 0 times 0, 0 here. Then, 0. So, shortcut. Next task, okay? So, bring down here 0. Bring down 49 here. Then, decimal point, 1 decimal place, so 49. The same also, the same. So, 49. The same from the given answer here in step 3, also from the given answer with our solution. So, the same with uh, the given problem. So, means our the answer or our answer is correct. After we check it by multiplying the answer, the quotient, and the divisor. So, let us try to answer this number 1. Okay. So, here. Let us try to answer this. So, as you can see, divisor is 0 and 8 cents, decimal number. Again, we need to change it first into a whole number by moving the decimal point going to the right here, 1, then add 1, 0. Okay? Or multiply it into 10, then 208 multiply also into 10, so answer is 2080. Okay? So, the same process, so as you can see, the same answer. Okay? So... Next, let us start, let's start uh, dividing this given number, okay? So, again, dividend is a whole number, and the divisor is a decimal number. So, whole number to, to decimal number. So, let us use 20. 20 divide 8, that is 2. 2 times 8, that is 16. Then, let us subtract. 20 minus 16, that is 4. And then bring down 8, so 48. So 48 divided by 8, that is 6. Then 6 times 8, that's, that is 48 also. Okay, then 48 minus 48, that is 0. Then bring down 0 here. Okay, 0 divided by 8, that is 0. Let us arrange. 0 times 8, that is, that is 0. Then 0. So... So, 260 is the answer for from this given solution. Let us find out if this 260 is correct by multiplying 262, 0, and 8. Okay. 8 times 0, 0. 8 times 6, 48. Then, carry 4. 8 times 2, 16 plus 4, that is 20. Then, 0 names above. 0, 0, 0. Then bring down 0, let us add 8, 0, then 2. Let us find the decimal point, 1 place here, 1, so here. So 208, 0, 208. So the same answer means correct. Okay? So another example here. Okay, let us use our whiteboard here whiteboard okay so again let us focus first for the full number of dividend and the divisor is decimal number okay let us use this color red pen then let us try another one okay so for example is uh, 1.5 Divided by 0 and 3. Okay? Divided by 0 and 3. That's. So, so, as you can see here, the given dividend is decimal number. And the divisor is decimal number. All we have to do is to move the decimal point. Going to the right one, place 1. Then also move the decimal point here, 1 place 1. So from 1.5 becomes 15, is the number. So let us write the decimal point here. Then let us start dividing this. 15 divided 3, that is 5. Then 5 times 3, that is 15. Then minus 0. So means 5 is the answer for, for this. So let us try. So 5 times 0.3. Okay. So that is 
15. So 1.5 decimal point here is one case. So 1.5, the same from the given problem. So means that our answer is correct. Let us try another one. So how about if the given dividend is whole number? No? 24, how about here? Um, 1.2. Okay, again, move the decimal point going to the right one place. One, then add one zero here. If the given dividend is full number, all we have to do is to add zero. It depends with the decimal places from the divisor. So we move the decimal point one place, so add one zero only. Okay, so let's start. 24 divided 12, that is 2. Then 12, 2 times 12, that is 24. Then minus, that is 0. Then bring down 0. 0 divided by 12, that is 0. Then 0, 0. So 20, our answer. So let us find out. 1.2 to check this. That is 40. Then that is 0, then 20. 0, 4, 2. How about decimal point? 1 place 1. So 2.0. So 24. Okay. So correct answer. So 20. Means our answer for this given problem is correct.